What's happening, YouTube? Man, it's so good to see you, and thank you for uh, checking out John Was Bored. Now, I gotta tell you, I am completely blown away that my Aircrete gun video at the time of this taping, which is about mm, 60 days post, has 57,000 views. That is crazy. There's enough time watched on my videos to equal more than a year. So, you guys are awesome, and I've gotten some awesome comments, some really encouraging comments. But I, I had a, a couple of questions, you know, along the way. Folks have been like, uh, you know, can you give us a parts list? Can you, can you give us a step by step? Lots of people have suggestions on ways to improve it, and that is awesome because that's how we all learn. But before I go any further, would you do me a favor? Would you subscribe and hit the little bell so every time you know I come up with a new video, something that's interesting, you'll at least know about it. And uh, do share this video, comment, likes, all that stuff makes it. Uh, makes it fun to have this little group of Aircrete enthusiasts together. So what I wanted to do was basically deconstruct my air gun and construct it for you. Now, in my last video, I didn't do a lot of that. I just kind of uh, said, this is how I do it. So I wanted to give you part by part everything and I'll give you a parts list and even give you a link where you can get all these parts. Now, um, so here's the list, are you ready? A six foot leader hose from Walmart, all right? Anywhere, but six foot leader hose. 10 feet of tubing, polyethylene tubing, I believe it is what it is, but um, basically it is a half inch inside diameter and three quarter inch outside diameter. Don't get the five eighths, it's too flimsy. This will cost you, I don't know, 10 bucks for, um, for a 10 foot piece. Now, you're not gonna, you're gonna have to make two cuts and I'm gonna show those to you, actually one, It'll make it into four pieces, all right? So this is the long piece, okay? Then you're gonna have a short piece. That's probably two feet long, okay? Then it really doesn't matter how long these are, these little pieces here that are gonna attach to your aquatainer. So you're gonna have to cut that into four small pieces, okay? Two female hose mender kits, okay? These guys, all right? Female with a hose mender kit. And that comes with um, a, a hose clamp, so that's important. You're gonna need to know that. Uh, six more pipe clamps, okay? These small guys, maximum of about three quarters of an inch, I guess, uh, but these are cheap as heck. So six more of those pipe clamps. That little gray piece in here, this is a Rainbird, so go to the um, Home Depot section and toward the irrigation part of the world, and um, you'll find the Rainbird barbed on one end, half inch, and standard hose three quarter inch on the other. That's for one of these. This is gray. And then there is a black one. And you're just gonna have to trust me, please, on this, because it's too, too big of a pain in the butt to try to get it out. But this black one is the same thing, half inch barb on this end, and then it's uh, a smaller thread. I'm pretty sure it's a half inch thread right there. All right. Of course, here's the aquatainer. All right. When you get your aquatainer, it's gonna come with this. All right, this is the standard. And the, the reason is that they've got this little unscrew thingamajig uh, that you turn around and you make it into a spigot, okay? So that would screw on there and then you could just turn that open and you could have water spigot when you're camping. So we just take this little guy and we throw it away. now. I could possibly repurpose that, but I mean, for 60 cents, the Rainbird piece does just fine. Okay, all right. You just take the, gr the gray Rainbird piece and thread it right in to the top of this spigot that comes with the Aquatainer. So that saves you having to drill a hole and keep something from leaking, all right? So that's why I like the Aquatainer. If you like something different, it's fine with me, I don't care four water hose quick connects. Now these are optional, okay? Um, you've seen water hose quick connects, you're not stupid. All right, so four of those, I like it because that way you can kind of have your gun part, your hose parts, and your container, your tank part, all kind of separate. It is gonna probably give you a little more problem with leakage, but who cares? This is, you're making concrete, this is a messy job. So a water hose Y adapter, 
Okay, there you go, water hose Y adapter. Half inch ball valves. Now, that, now we're getting into the air side of things. Half inch ball valves. This is half inch uh, male and female. One, you got two of those. All right, two of those. Female to female, two female to female air compressor quick connects. All right, two male to male air compressor quick connects. Now these aren't pretty anymore because I've been I've been using these. You know. All right, one male to female half inch air compressor quick connect one male 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 uh, i'm sorry i keep saying half inch it's quarter inch um quarter inch uh t all right brass t nothing fancy there one quarter inch to quarter inch male to male adapter this is sort of a booby prize here but this is a half inch barbed on one end, I'm sorry, quarter inch barbed on one end and looks like it's three quarters inch, five eighths, I'm not sure, threaded on this end, but I'll show you where that goes in in a minute. Then, scrubbing pads, okay? These are uh, stainless steel dish scrubbing pads. Don't get steel wool. These work better and they hold up longer and they don't get rusty and gross. So, stainless steel scrubbing pads. I, I used seven, okay, <laughs> here they are. Now here's the secret weapon, check this out. A whisk from Walmart for 88 cents. That keeps, when you start pushing force inside your, your uh, chamber, it keeps this from clogging up the end. And man, genius idea, courtesy of my friend Josh. All right, um, so whisk, okay, now let's get to the PVC stuff, all right? So this is messy, all right, get over it. Home Depot, you can get a two inch by two foot pre-cut piece. You don't even have to cut this. You get a two inch cap. That is one hole that you're gonna have to drill with this bit, all right? Actually, no, not this bit. This is a different thing. Uh, with, with a bit, a half inch bit, okay? Then you've got a two inch uh, female to threaded female cap, okay? So that's, that's the bulk of that. Then the back end of this, you've got the two inch male threaded reducer down to one and a half inch female. And that start, that's this section through here. Then inside there is a one and a half inch male to half inch, um, what is this thing called? I forgot what, bushing, all right. So you've got the, uh, the hat, one and a half inch going into the here and the half inch coming out bushing. Then you take a half inch uh, female to standard water hose uh, adapter, okay? So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of PVC here, all right? All right, does that make sense? Now, all of these pieces, the only the only physical stuff you're gonna have to do is drill that hole, and I, that is a half inch hole, and you're gonna have to drill one hole right here in the aquatainer using the three quarter inch uh, paddle bit. Okay, that just goes right in there. All right, tools that you will need. I already told you, you're gonna need that. You're gonna need two of these, okay, to tighten stuff up. You're gonna need something to cut with, to cut your tubes. Um, I use this, but you can use tin snips, you can use a, a you know, razor knife, whatever. Uh, you're gonna need that screwdriver standard screwdriver and you're gonna want do I have it down here Teflon tape which is cheap as heck and this which is not as cheap ultra black uh, gasket maker this is gonna seal up anything that leaks and uh, probably glue your fingers together too so all right so let's get to it starting with the simple stuff we've already kind of talked about the PVC you simply take your PVC cement that's the other tool you're gonna need PVC cement, glue it here. You drill a hole right there, okay? Now, then you put your, uh, this cap here. Stick your whisk in first. I wrapped my uh, stuff around my whisk. Um, it'll eventually get there, but I just kind of went ahead and did it. And, you know, it seems so counterintuitive that, that solution is going to get through all of this but it, that's exactly what causes it to become 
the shaving cream style foam that you want when you're making air creep. So this I took seven to get in here. Um, I could probably do less. I might could do more. I don't know. But seven. So there we go. It's all loaded in there. Then um, take this assembly. All right. And that was again one, two. That's three pieces. All right. So you're just gonna screw that guy in there. Now why, the reason I, I, I made it this way instead, you know, with a thread, was so if I needed to get in and change out those those uh, pads, eventually I, I assume that I will, then I can. But there you go. So I could seal this with a little Teflon tape, but I'm not gonna, all right. So that's it for the, for the actual gun, okay? So let's talk about the hoses. Okay, you have four ho places where hoses are in play. First off, obviously between the tank and the gun, that's obvious. But then you also have um, uh, wrapping around the gun, okay? So where air pressure comes in and pushes in at the back of the, uh, of the gun. And then you also have some little, I'll call them, I don't know what you'd call this, just a little piece so that you can make the connections you need to. Um, I suppose it's possible you could do this a different way. Uh, but it just made sense to me. Now I'm actually gonna make a change this time uh, because I realized when I made my first one that I put the water exit on the weakest joint. This is by far the weak joint, okay? So I thought, what if I reversed it and I made it where the water comes out here and the only thing going in here is air. And if I do suffer an air leak, it's nothing like a water leak, right? And the other thing too is this has some markings on the side of it. I don't know if you can see the, the markings. And um, the way I had it, I had it laying upside down, which means I couldn't tell how much water was going out. And so it helps to uh, to do it the way that they mean, mean for you to. All right. Now remember, you've got two pieces here. You've got the black rainbird piece, which is 60 cents. You've got the gray rainbird piece, which is 60 cents. Okay, the gray goes in the hand, the, the this little uh, cap, and the black goes here where you have cut your hole. Now, once you get these barbs onto this pipe, it ain't going anywhere. You might have some leakage, so I suggest that you put a little bit of Teflon tape on there, and then of course you're gonna take the um, uh, pipe clamp, tighten that down. Put the pipe clamps on first, okay? Because what's next is going to be my air compressor connection. So on this end, in my original design, I had the female version, the female side of this. So here's the female side of this, uh, and I've got to get my half, my quarter inch male to male adapter so that I have somewhere to stick the uh, stick it in there. Um, you could probably find a better, a longer half inch piece because that doesn't give you a whole lot to work with. Okay, so um, you know whatever you think. Yeah, once it gets on there, it's on there. Let's get some uh, let's get some more Teflon tape going. Only thing happening here is air. Okay, so it doesn't have to be super sealed, but it certainly never hurts. Just tightening down this clamp. Get as nice of a firm, tight grip as I can. So what is that? About six, seven, eight inches of tubing there. Now let's do the other side. Now this is gonna take me a second because I am swapping this thing around and this guy is a little bit bigger than this guy. So I've got to really route this thing out and figure out how to make it behave. So give me a second. <laughs> But you're gonna be sure you got a nice snug fit. So there we go. That is on. Let me put on my hose clamp. There is your completed attachment. Water hose, water flow is coming out of here. By the way, this little gasket kind of helpful. So now you want to put on a quick connect. Jeez. Thanks, wind. All right. Got got my Teflon tape on there putting that on here uh, actually a little bit of a challenge all right using my pliers to tighten that boy down ok 
Okay. So, it's about as snug as I can make it. Okay? Cool. That one's ready to go. And then this uh, process, I did not undo. Okay? We did put this on. Okay? Um, and we, we have this connected. All right. So, and then there's the drill here. Teflon tape. Uh, Teflon tape, I guess, on these barbs. Definitely want it here. All right. So, your t container is now ready. So, we put this guy here. Oh, yeah. Teflon tape. And this guy on the other end. And again. Let's get some Teflon tape. This hose is done. This hose. Not hard. We're going to take our pipe clamps. Put them on first, obviously. So we're gonna take our two male quarter inch quick connect, male on both sides. I've already got Teflon tape on that one. I'll put a little on this one. It's okay to be generous with this stuff because you don't have a barb going on. This is a really kind of a good fit, not a snug fit. So, you know, it just kind of goes in there. So you. Good news is you're only passing air through so it's not it's really not the end of the world if it's not sealed tight matter of fact it's probably a little bit better because the aquatainer can't handle uh, but so much air pressure so really any leaks you have work to your advantage as far as the air is concerned but I'll crank this baby down do the same thing here Okay, this long hose is ready. So, let's add our apparatus to this. We're taking this, okay, and we're gonna put quick connect on that. Like I said, the, uh, the quick connect on this particular junction is the least important. Um, it really only gives you a little swivel and a little play as you're working with your gun it doesn't necessarily help anything because you're never going to really want to remove uh, this, the, the Y adapter from, from the situation, but you know, it just it offers a little bit. And I bought them in two packs. I had one, so I thought, you know, just put it in use. So crank that baby down. And this is the other side of that. And we screw that here. All right. So there's a better way to do that though. Oh, have I mentioned PVC tape? Teflon tape. Although, what is it? Quarter? Alright, we're cranking this baby down. Okay. So, quick connect, now, and that. All right, now, one of these is going to receive the fluid from the uh, tank, aquatainer. So let's put a quick connect there. And just so you can see what I'm talking about, that's how that works. Quick connect goes here. Um, Get some Teflon tape. Alright. And that's ready to go. Bada bing. Now this one is a little different. This one we're going to hard connect, all right, to, to the hose, 
And the reason for that is um, the, the quick connect happens at another spot. All right, so we're going to take our what class? Teflon tape and wrap this baby up. This is the short, the short tube that we cut to be part of our uh, ball valve action here in a minute. So put that here. And crank it down really good. Gotta watch it if you get one of these really cheap T, I mean Y adapters, some of them are actually barely a cut above plastic, so gotta watch that. So here's our T. We're going to put our valves on here. All right. Nothing too fancy about this. Screwing on our ball valves. Both sides. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Here's a little bonus. This little guy just goes in the end here. Gives a little bit of a fun little spigot for the foam once you finally get it going. And you could get a self-tap and do that, but why? This works just fine. Doesn't matter that it's not straight out thing. All right, that's good enough. Kind of needs a Viagra. All right, just to make things easier, I'll take that off. All right, so that's nice and secure. Again, we're only dealing with air here, all right? Now your air, uh, the feed, the, the, the air coming from your hose, it's gotta have some place to go, and that's right there, okay? So your air hose connects here, and I've already got some Teflon tape on there, so I'm gonna screw that on, take my pliers, tighten it down. So here's what happens, okay? You have one source of compressed air, and it's sending it two directions. One direction is the air to the water chamber, the aquatainer, okay? And you can control that here with your ball valve. So that's closed, that's open. So you can control the amount of pressure going to the aquatainer. Then, I really gotta wrench this around because it's Okay. Then you have uh, the other spigot is sending the air to the gun to agitate and increase the volume of the foam. So that is going this way. So that is this hose right here. Okay. And that is a direct hard connect right there. It for the Teflon tape. All right, screw that there. Tighten the hose clamp here. All right. So there we go. Okay. All that's left. All that's left is getting some zip ties and kind of tidying this thing up, making it a little bit less awkward because you don't want this like flopping around. You can avoid it. So I uh, get some zip ties and make that work. This is where I was, why I was telling you it's a good idea to have this uh, quick connect here. It's not necessary, but it gives you a little swivel if that's helpful to you. Here we go. It's all nice and tight on there. I'm gonna trim these off so that they don't look stupid. Here you go. 
it's all done. So, air compressor feeds there, uh, air chamber uh, to the um, aquatainer goes there, uh, water coming out of the aquatainer goes there, you're done. I hope this has been helpful to the folks that have had questions. Um, it was good for me to kind of just reverse engineer it and put it back together and uh, look for a uh, parts list in the description and hopefully I will have all of the pieces like for an Amazon order that you can just boom get it done. All right, thanks. Hey, by the way, please subscribe, like, share, comment. Um, appreciate it so much. John was bored. <laughs>